Sen as a man. Okay, so as a man, is, is he God? Yes. So who's he worshipping? <laughs> God. If he's God, but he's, who's a, he he's just the form of God. He's okay. So this form of God is no longer God then, because he's worshiping God, right? Or is he worshiping himself? Well, it's, he's both. He's man and God at the same time. Okay. Does God know everything? Yes. Okay. You. I know this one. I know, you know this one, one yeah, right? Yeah. So, for the benefit of others, I'm just genuinely being curious about it. This is your. There's mostly Christians watching. They're getting upset in the chat, but I hope not. <laughs> Look, if you're a Christian watching, why would you be upset? Look up these verses. Think for yourself. Right? Uh, this is not an insult. This is, this is reading literally from your book. I'm not putting any kind of no, insult out the there. Right? Okay. okay. But of that day and hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So only the Father knows the time. Okay. So my question here is, earlier you did agree that God knows everything. And here it clearly says, nor the Son. It's not even ambiguous. No, same. Nor does it say anything about Jesus on earth. Or let's say you said this was only when he was on earth. Okay, that means on earth he could not be God. You can't have a square circle, right? Either it's a square or a circle. Either it has edges, corners, that makes it a square. If it doesn't, that makes it a circle, right? Either you know everything and you're God, all capable, all knowing, or you're fine. not. Yeah. Or you're not. Can't be both. So, you know, as you can see, we have a lot, a lot of these, you know, I mean, you know, people talk about, you know, uh, the Quran and all this stuff. And again, we're, we're not, I, I don't sit here and do this in my living room only. I'm out at the park. I'm out there in, in front of people. I'm in New York. I'm all over the place. We woke up face to face. We're not just like little Sammy sitting in his bathroom making videos. You know, Why is he in the bathroom making me? No, I'm just kidding. It's a oh, joke. Okay. Yeah. He's in his living room, your kitchen, trying okay. to get a sandwich. Go make me a sandwich, bro. What? The <laughs> <laughs> Do something productive, man. You know? All right. So, I don't know this guy. I have no disrespect. Uh, okay, another verse. This verse is Samuel. Samuel chapter 15. And now go and attack Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep. Camel and donkey. Who, who's, who's this talking? This is God ordering the people of Israel to attack Amalek and utterly destroy them. Who's right? Amalek? It's, it's a nation that had uh, generations people? before. They're the same Semitic people. <clears throat> so the people of Amalek had attacked the people of Israel as well. Generations after, God is now ordering them to be genocided. Nursing children to be killed. Kill right? both man and woman, infant and nursing child. Now, notice... It is not something about the nursing child, his future, or something they had done. This is a punishment being handed where genocide is being carried out. And this is something that, you know, uh, again, a lot of Christians are like, oh, it's Old Testament. Okay, well, who's the God of the Old Testament? Is it not Jesus then? If Jesus is God, then these are the commandments of Jesus. Right? I can't argue with this. I, mean, I can't argue with That's that. why you're Muslim. I, I'm trying to like argue for the perspective of a Christian, but it, yeah. it doesn't make... It. And again, for the Christian saying, oh, you should bring a Christian. Look, this is not the first time I've gone through this rodeo, right? This is not my first rodeo. Go watch our channel. You'll see Christian preachers, pastors, apologists, all those guys being hit by the same stuff. And you can watch the videos. And for, the, for people in the chat saying Christ is king right now, what is he the king of? And, and see, this is my problem. He wasn't. How, he, how was, is, he wasn't the king. But at any how point. is that even a response to this? <laughs> Just saying, Christ is king. Christ is God. Jesus, Jesus is God. It's proof that they use slogans to slogans, try to. Slogans. Yeah. That's it. Now, but I not, want you to. I want you to read this here. If a man finds a young woman who is a virgin, who is not betrothed, and he seizes her and lies with her, and they are found Rapes out, her, basically. Then the man who lay with her shall give to the young woman's father fifty shekels of silver. <laughs> And she shall be his wife because he has humbled her. He shall not be permitted to divorce her all his days. So if you... Is this... Okay, in simple terms. I, yeah, go ahead. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> He's saying if you rape a woman, then give your... Give, give the woman's father. father 50 shekels and now she's your wife. And she has to stay your wife. You can't even divorce her now because you, you know, raped her. Does anyone in the... Like Christians watching, can someone please explain this? And these are the laws of the Old Testament that according to you guys... And it's a virgin you, too. If you rape yeah, a virgin, a virgin yeah, pay yeah. the dad 50 shekels. You're good. And now she's your wife forever. Right? So, so what I'm saying is, if you, guys, if you guys are Christian and you believe Jesus is God, then those are Jesus' laws. These are the laws of the Old Testament. These are 
God's laws. Now, this is a one that I've used a lot and I'd like you to read for us. And especially those of you that are watching that are African American that know what a horrible Oh, this is the slave one, right? Yeah. I've seen this one. Exodus. And if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod... Even a woman, by the way. Female servant. So that he dies under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his property. So, if you have a slave, a woman or man, doesn't mention what the reasoning was. Any reason. There's no mention here. Don't try to make stuff up. And you beat them with a rod... So bad that they die, but they live a day, just a day. They live a day or two, you know, they, critical condition, they die a day or two later. There is no punishment. You shall not be punished because humans are your property. This is Bible. Go read it yourself, right? Then you guys talk about Islam. Come on, right? Come on, you know. This is, you know, I have, again, like I said, you know, we have, even if you look at biblical scholars, like the, you know, this is the McCarthy Bible. They will tell you that these, uh, this is an interesting verse. Read this here. And, and this is from a study Bible. So don't think that I'm, uh, you know, making this up from my understanding. Kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known a man intimately. But keep alive for yourselves all the young girls who have not known a man intimately. So just kill every woman. Kill every man, and any woman that's had Sex. intercourse. Yeah. But the virgins, keep them for yourselves. Right? Now, read the commentary of it. The commentary is that the execution of all male children and women of childbearing age ensure the extermination of the Midianites. Genocide. And prevented them from ever again seducing Israel to sin. Genocide. Uh, ma basically, and this is not like, oh, it was a flood or something. This is going in and killing them. But keeping the virgins for yourself. Right? This is in your Bible. And this is your, your study Bible. <laughs> this is your evangelicals, right? Now, remember we read this verse earlier about a man finding the shekels? If a man finds a young woman who is a virgin and not betrothed, and he sees her and lies with her, then he found out. It's the same one, right? Yeah, same one. But look at the Christian response. The response it. is, if the man forced, i.e. raped the woman, then only the man's life was required. Yeah. So now, if he forced her, then the man's life would have been there. But if he gives 50 shekels, now she's his. And, you know, for those who might be like, oh, seized her, this is rape. That we're talking about. And they're allowing 50 shekels to be a price for raping her. And now he has to marry her and keep her forever. At least 100 shekels. <laughs> they should correct it to 100 shekels. 50 is a little cheap. One of, the, one of the new Bibles might actually change it, you know. But let me show you something else. You know, it's interesting. Can you hand me the... Uh, At least 100 shekels. Up the gray Make Bible. Make it fair. Yeah, go, go right there, yeah. Now, this is the Joe Witness Translation. Okay. JWs. It's called the New World Translation. These are the knocking on the door Christians. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this is the standard that's used around the world. It's King James. Okay. Right? Now, what's interesting, and I have NIV as well. Um, hand me the, the white and brown one in the middle. Yeah. This is, no, this is KGB as well. Um, let's see, where's the NIV? Uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry. <laughs> Good man, yours. This is the NIV, right? What they have done here. Welcome, Soda. Welcome to Sporting. Nice. I want you to read this verse here in Matthew, right there. Right. Starting from Father? Yeah. Father who was in heaven, for even one of these little ones to perish. Now, what's what's the chapter and verse? Chapter, um, it's Matthew uh, 18, um, and then verse 12, or to verse 14. Okay, so go up to first Matthew 11. 
So for, for what do you think? No, no, right there. There's nothing. Mm. <laughs> you see yeah, the verse? Matthew verse 11, um, wait, chapter 18 verse 11? Yep, chapter Doesn't 18. exist. No, right here. It's just, it's just a star. I, wait, I want to show them. Sorry, just fact check. This is the Jehovah's Witness Bible, right? The New World Translation, yes. If you look at 11, you see that that orange sticker? It's just there's nothing. It's just a star. Now, in the standard King James, Matthew, make sure it's the same verse. Because this is, I'm not... And you guys, spot check it. Go home. I, I am, I'm showing them now. Yeah. I mean... Matthew 18, 11. Matthew uh, chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Interesting. That verse was taken out. Now, why was it taken out of the Jehovah's Witness Bible? You tell me. Luke, right here, is it 49? Uh, I think it's under chapter 9, verse 56. 56. So they went to a different village. Okay. How did you, you find it? this? You must have... Oh, I've studied. I've studied the Bible. I've studied the Quran. I've, I spend my... Uh, a good amount of time with... Because I want to follow the truth. I don't want to just blindly follow something. Right? No. This was Luke. What was the chapter and verse? Um, Luke uh, chapter 9 verse... 56. Right? 56. There you go. And this is the King James Bible. Yep. Okay. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Read both now. Where is the Son of Man there? Wait, it's 56? Yep, yeah, right there. Uh, so they went to a different village. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. <laughs> and they went to another village. Go, go check if the same, same verse. Go check it online. It you is. guys? I mean, it, I'm holding it. It is. Right? So now... Which one is the true Bible? Right? This is not a difference in reading. You know, this is not a difference in pronunciation. These are entire verses that are taken out. Salim's calling me a, a fellow Muslim who... Go for it. I call it. Salim, I'm, I'm live right now. Huh? No, no. I need you to go back and forth with this girl right now. Because I just probably fucking hindered her. About what? I'm not lying with you right now. I'm I'm, li I'm live right now with Sheikh Uthman. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How you doing? Oh, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How you doing, brother? How you doing, brother? He's a hafiz. Mashallah, you were a hafiz, huh? Yeah. Warahmatullah. Yeah. Mashallah. We need you to come lead taraweeh with us. Yeah. Warahmatullah. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. All right. Talk later, man. Shout out to Salim, everybody. It seems like he's, he might have been drinking a little bit. I can hear in his voice. Drinking? I'm not sure. Adin, thank you for the 50. MashaAllah, super hey. beneficial. Collab yet again. Siko, ask him the questions you've always wanted to know. Um, Sway might not have the answers, but Sheikh has answers. Yeah, I've, 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 I'm asking him everything I wanted to know. Now, this is the King James Version. I, I've color-quartered between old and new, but don't worry about all that. But this is, this is the chapters. Okay? okay? The table of contents, right? Now, this is the Catholic Bible. Okay. Okay. I want you to find here Tobit, Judith, Sirach. See if you can find them there. Okay. So, uh, one more time. This is the... Um, this is the Catholic the Bible. Catholic Bible. Yeah. And now I'm here holding the King, King James. James. Yeah. What's the difference? Which one came first? Well, I mean, uh, up for debate, but both are based on manuscripts that are in Greek. Um, Catholics will definitely say the Catholic version was first, but in, that's not even the point. The point here is, here, you look at these chapters, they're not there. Okay, uh, Tobit 586. That's just a page number, but yeah, Tobit, so. Tobit, um, is it in alphabetical order? No, nope. well, I think that might be. Kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't exist. Judith, no. Sirach. <laughs> And you see, Baruch. these are entire chapters in the Catholic Bible that do not exist in the Prophet. So which one is the true Bible? Right? I mean, yeah, the, the, no. the Quran is stayed consistent for 1400 years. Musa, hand me that Mus'haf up there that's sitting flat. Yeah, I wish you could see it. Well, I think we'll eventually we'll do a, a whole tour of the, the whole to. library because this is just 
covered in, in literature, wall to wall. One of the things a lot of Christian apologists and you know people that just because we clearly show these contradictions and these clear things will be like, oh, there's different recitations of the Quran. For example, there is Hafs and Asim, there is Warsh and Nafi'ah on how to recite, right? They'd be like, oh, those are different Qur'ans. For example, if you're from the East Coast and you say something, you know, you're from Boston, you say Baston, and we say Boston, or somebody's like, Boston, you know, or how you all doing? Those are recitations. That's not different chapters. Every Qur'an in the world, I dare you, go get a Qur'an, show me one that's not 114 chapters, that doesn't begin with Al-Fatiha, and doesn't end with Surah Nas. 114 chapters, 30 juz, the same surah, this is the only Qur'an, one Qur'an. Different styles of recitation. Now, because they try to play these kind of games, this is a, a Qur'an we got from Kuwait. May Allah reward our brother Abu Abdullah from Utah that brought this to me. Um, here, look at this. The Qur'an is one. The difference in pronunciation and how you recite are listed here, right? So all those you can recite from the same Qur'an. If you go back to a Qur'an that doesn't have any markings, whether you say Malik or Malik, it's the same thing. It's how you stretch. Whether you say what Duha or what Duhay, it will be based on one Qur'an. So we have only one Qur'an that is memorized letter by letter. Challenge right now. All you guys, challenge. Christians, Catholic, Protestants, I don't care. Bring me a Christian that has memorized the whole Bible, word by word, letter by letter. The Pope, bring him up. Sam, you memorize the whole Bible? Right? We'll bring you a hundred hafad. Or just spoke to one. one <laughs> it just we had some, we got, we got, we'll, we'll come to the masjid tonight, you'll meet a bunch. Right. Tonight, in our masjid. We'll the protectors go, of the you, Quran. You go to Pakistan, you throw a rock, you hit 50 of them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you go to Egypt, you go to all these countries, people have memorized the Quran. And from the time of the Prophet, I want you to bring me Al-Itqan. There is a book, uh, let me get it. Uh, Mawiyah, yeah. look up on top. In the Ulum of Quran, there is Al-Itqan. Some donos. We got uh, five from Muhammad W. Shem, W. Shake with Man for all the Christians right here. God gave you a brain to think with. Go read your book and then see what really makes sense. Uh, and we're not hating here. You know, I'm, really I'm not, not, I'm it's not all about seeking the truth 100%. In, 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 I'm not dressing here in a little nighty like hammer time and trying to make mocks and jokes. I love Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. Wallahi, I serve Allah. I love him. But I just don't worship him. Uh, Sheikh, why does the Quran say Jesus was perfect from form by the potter's hand? Jesus perfect and sinless, yet you are still intellectually dishonest to say that Muhammad is the better example of mankind. Gotcha. Don't run. Gotcha. Bring me the verse first. Where's the verse in the Quran? Show it to me, and I'll explain it to you. The verse that, that says that Jesus was perfect that, and Muhammad show me, wasn't? Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Look, Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, was a prophet. Show me a verse that says Muhammad wasn't perfect. Show me a verse that says, compares the two. Bring me the verse. I love Jesus. I'm not here to insult any prophet. I love them. I don't, we don't make mockery cartoons of prophets. We love Jesus. We love Moses. We love Abraham. We love Muhammad. Peace be upon them. Every prophet is protected from sin. And from things that are intentional sins. Prophets make mistakes in judgment. For example, Musa alayhi salam when he was breaking up a fight and so on. Now, for you yourself, you mentioned in your own Bible times when Jesus would get angry and so on, which you can consider a mistake. I'm not even going to get into all of that. We love the prophets. We love, if you believe in that verse in the Quran that you're saying, show me the verse first off so we can discuss with evidence, not just ideas. Then when the Quran says that Jesus was not a God, when he was a slave of God, a prophet of God, then you should believe it. That's what we believe. We have one more, I uh, just want to read this. 15 from... Uh, Project Axiom says, Shake for Mark 13.32, is that the slave one? No, Mark 13.32 is that only God knows the hour. Only God knows the hour, only God knows the time, but the son doesn't know the time. Sure. He said, I was told the Greek word no, use it not about knowledge, but the knowledge to command. So Jesus cannot command the hour, only Allah. I will look into it, it hurts them more. So it's more support, so not only does he not know the hour, but he cannot command the hour. Look, I have the Greek as well, we can look into it, but either which way, it does show they're not co-equal, right? Christian doctrine is destroyed by their own book, right? Now, I want to show this. This is a book called Al-Itqan of Imam Al-Siyuti, the scholar. Of, and this is, if you can see in the, there's my notes. I don't know if you can see real well there. Uh, I can there focus it. 
you can see my notes on the sides as well. So this book mentions about those documents, those companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, contemporaries that memorize the entire Quran. Al-Itqan, it mentions Uthman ibn Affan, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Bay ibn Ka'ab, Zayd ibn Thabit, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, right? Abu Darda, Abu Musa al-Ashari, then it continues about Abu Huraira, Ibn Abbas, Abdullah ibn Sa'ib, and then also taking from Abdullah ibn Abbas. So, here, these are documented. What I did is I went back to the books of Tariq, of history, and the books of Hadith, and I looked each one of these up, and that's my notes on the sides. And I found more, all the way to 35 that are, I've documented here, with references to which book mentions them, right? Who are all companions that were documented to have memorized the entire Qur'an, word by word, letter by letter, during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Show us one person that memorized this Bible during the lifetime of Jesus, let alone read it. This wasn't even compiled. In the lifetime of Jesus, peace be upon him, right? Go, if you're a Christian, go read Bart Ehrman. He's not, he's not Muslim. But go read about when the Bible was... Can you hand me? And this is again, I'm not trying to... Uh, on the bottom, you see where it says Bart Ehrman's books next to the Bible. Uh, keep going. Those two. Or those three, yeah. Those three, give them to all three. Right? This how is, many books we have around now. Oh, you got a whole library. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> right? Yeah. We'll, we'll take you for the tour. Yeah, the whole shower. tour. See, if you're a Christian and you really want to know and you don't want to take my word for it because I'm Muslim, go. This is Bart Ehrman. This is a book called Forged How Jesus Became God. This is somebody who was a Christian, who was trained in a seminary, an expert on the Bible. Bart Ehrman. Go read. It says how Jesus became God, the original follower. He documents, and he's an agnostic, he's not Muslim, but he documents how the early Christians did not believe Jesus was God, and how this was something that happened over time. Misquoting Jesus. This, these are all books of Bart Ehrman. I'm not even a Muslim, right? Uh, uh, if you're a Christian, I love guidance for you. I, love, I want good for you. I'm not insulting. Not like, you know, these guys, like, like Sam Shimon. I don't watch his stuff. But, you know, sometimes he calls people's mothers whores. He calls people, he, he, he's so filthy in his language that I don't know how any Christian would want him representing them. That's not the way of Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him. As a Muslim, I respect you. I want good for you. You don't need to debate. Go home, research, read the books, read your Bible. Come to your own conclusions. Why is it that Jews do not, don't engage in conversation? I understand that Christians will get to a point, and then you've even seen when you go past their breaking point where they could stab you, they threaten you, attack you they verbally, attack you verbally to try to slander your character. Yeah. But Jews won't even really, besides the, the rabbi who was biting the kids, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, they don't really engage in conversation. Is it because Jews are an ethno religion and they're more like. Um, they don't. Yeah. They don't want people to convert to their religion. They, they don't even. And with Muslims, like that's the, a big reason why I converted to, and why I encourage everybody in the chat to, to, um, to join Islam is because they're. They we want everybody to know the truth. Exactly. We want everybody to know. We want every. We're and, accepting and, of everyone. Unlike Mormons, we're not trying to get you to pay ten percent of your money. Well, even the zakat we give to the poor. Two point five percent. Two point. But that's for the poor. It's not for the mosque. It's not for the imams. It's not for any kind of central body like the Mormons or the Catholic Church with all these paintings and gold that they have. I gotta tell you a story about the Vatican later. Um, you can't say that on stream. I can. Okay. All right. It's kind of. Okay, I knew a guy named Martin Isa. I'm going to throw his name out. He okay. was an Iraqi Christian. He used to work with me, and he was Iraqi Christian, Chaldean, not Muslim. And you know, obviously at work, I when it's time to pray, I go pray. So everybody knows I'm Muslim. I got my beard and all that. I keep my pants above my ankle. I keep 100% as I could on the Quran and Sunnah. So this guy, one day he was telling me he was Muslim. I was like, yeah, and he was like, I'm like, what are you? Because he was he, he could speak Arabic. He's like, I'm Christian. I'm Iraqi. Then he goes, you know. Even though I'm saying I'm Christian, kind of like Don, he goes, I'm not Christian anymore. I don't know why. He goes, I used to work for the Vatican. And I saw the corruption. He goes, you would get these Eastern European refugees, and they would take them to these saints, saints, who would be in these chambers. They would say, look, God has preserved them. And he's like, we had Freon tanks that I used to change. He was like, you know how much treasure, how many paintings are in the, in the bottom layers, levels of the Vatican? 
Nazi gold paintings that the Vatican has. You know, this is this is a guy who worked for the Vatican. He was a translator. He spoke seven languages, and he told me this. He said, "You know, I studied in the Vatican, and the reason Catholic priests can't marry is because the Catholic Church didn't want them, the abbots and bishops, to let their property go to their children. They wanted to keep it in the church. This is why they didn't allow them to get married." Mm -hmm. The early followers of Jesus, peace be upon them, they married, they had children. And this wasn't nothing with the part of Christianity. When did that start where they started saying that priests cannot marry, uh, nuns can't marry? Uh, I don't know the dates. Is that in the Bible? No, it's not. That's what I'm saying, the early followers an, of it, Jesus. To me, that's an married. inhuman practice. Literally, yeah. if you say inhuman practice, that's what it is because humans and are then, designed to reproduce. And then you put them around little boys and they wonder what happens. <laughs> Stuff <like> that. <laughs> that's, that's haram. You know, I had a I had a guy I used to work with him, Robert uh, at Pixis as a company I used to work for, and he used to be Catholic and he left he left religion because most people that are atheists that I run into their problems not with religion their problems with Christianity or Catholicism right, and the reason he left he said you know I used to be little and I you know in Wisconsin he was very Catholic area he said I used to walk to school a Catholic school between the parish and the whatever the nun house or whatever they call it, and I would find aborted fetuses from the nuns having intercourse with priests and hiddenly, right? And he said, what a hypocritical religion, you know? And he left all religion from that. And I gave him da'wah, I gave him a Qur'an and things. Uh, he read the Qur'an, he told me, I find nothing wrong in the Qur'an, I find it. He goes, but I just, the whole... A lot of the Christians that I speak to that will criticize it, they've read the Qur'an, and especially like the guy you debated, Zerka, he said he's read the Qur'an, he agrees with all of it, but it's just, the reason that he believes in Christianity is because he sees Jesus and Christianity as a bigger threat under the satanic antichrist agenda. Well, so he sees the fact that Christianity is under attack more by the globalist agenda. That's why he believes it. That's why he says Christ is king. But when you read, any Christian who reads the Quran, they won't find any contradictions. They'll see that it's been consistent for 1400 years and that they agree with all the practices and all, everything that the Quran teaches, but they just can't culturally accept it because, I, I think it's because it's been condemned so much in the West for the past 20 years. Because they've, they, there's been a lot of media lies. They'll yeah. say that Christianity is being under attack, but Islam culturally, when, even when you tell people like, "Oh, I became a Muslim," like, isn't that like the terrorist religion? You know, stuff up. <laughs> They've been programmed by all Look the Zerka. And again, I appreciate the shout out that you watch my videos, uh, right? He's but, a fan. He's a fan. Uh, I like to meet him. Maybe we could have some tea or something. Um, but but I'm gonna say this. You tell me this. Who is the only religion standing up against liberalism? Who on on a wide scale is standing up against the LGBTQXYZ agenda? It's Muslims. You won't see a pride flag in a masjid. Ever. You will never find a ever. pride flag in a masjid. You, you, recently, we had a debate with a Christian, and he was like, don't say anything about the alphabet people. I was like, I'm going to say whatever I want. I, I was in New York recently. <clears throat> One of the old historic churches had a big rainbow flag on it. Stop and you will see priests with rainbow stickers. Even the Pope. The Pope. He's, you know, you know. Abortion's it's, good. No, gay even homosexuality. He's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. he's trying to accept them in. Why? Because they're selling out wholesale. Muslims are the ones standing strong. Alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we condemn homosexuality, we condemn liberalism, we condemn all this idea of breaking down of the household. We believe in the structure that we find. And hey, look, in the Bible, you know, Christians are afraid to read their Bible. But if you want to talk about the Bible, and, and if you're Christian and, and you, you have a platform, I want you to go on your platform and read this. Right? This Nick Floyd says, I want you to, to read this specifically. That's the, the one person you have. You've debated everybody else. Every other major Christian uh, YouTuber content creator. I've seen you debate them, and I have to see them not be able to make you fold in any sense. But, uh, well, Nick, be... bring it on. I'm here. I mean, he, he doesn't want to do it. I, I think in a healthy way, it'd be, it'd be a really good debate. Bring it. Okay. But if you're a Christian, I just want you to read from your Bible. That's all I'm saying. On a platform, like on TV, or I want you to just read this verse. Okay. There you go. Leviticus 20.13. Leviticus 20.13. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. This is the Bible. Kill right? gays. Huh? Kill gays. In, in, in again, two words you could say the Bible again, says kill gays. I'm not saying this from me. That's the Bible. Want, I don't want the media. I'm not homophobic. Well, I mean, you know. Well, 2013. I'm, I'm not scared of that. I mean, <laughs> well, there are gay people. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not homophobic. Right. I, I don't accept that lifestyle. But, you know, that's my freedom. Now, this is just in the Bible. Uh, go, if go, a man go, lies go, with a man as he lies with a woman. Go to your church. Go to your pastor. Ask them to give a sermon about this verse. Go ahead. Try All it. the churches that have rainbow flags in there have drag queen story hour in the church. 
I want them to read that verse. I mean, but they always say that this is the Protestant or whatever. This is like the Catholics believe this, or this, this is, is an Orthodox Bible. practice. <laughs> this is in every Bible that you find, whether it's Christian, whether it's Protestant, whether it's all of that. But they, he would agree. Nick Fuentes would agree that, like, yeah. it, by that verse. But, but let's see how long he can speak. Is there any verse in the Quran that says kill gays? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what is the punishment of sexuality we can discuss, but th there's not a verse like this. Uh, although, I mean, again, to be open, of course, the Quran does condemn homosexuality. And we do without, without any fear of anybody. Um, now, uh, I want you to read this, if you're a Christian, in your church. Or even if you're a Christian, I just want you to read this with your kids. Go ahead. This is the New <laughs> Testament, by the way. Okay, this is Ezekiel, Ezekiel uh, 23, 20. Uh, for, she lusted, for she lusted for her paramours, whose flesh is like the flesh of donkeys, <laughs> and whose issue is like the issue of horses. What? Who is she? Who's, She's who is she? lusting after uh, men whose flesh uh, is like donkeys. <clears throat> privates are like that of donkeys, and they're Sperm coming out is like that of... Horses. Yeah. What? Uh, who is this woman? You, you read this with kids? Who's this woman? Uh, it's in the Bible. I mean, this is a story. But, well, it's a story. in the New Testament, actually. But uh, but the point there being, how are you going to read this with kids? Right? Now, for me as a Muslim, I don't believe this is the word of God. Right? This is not the words well, of maybe, God. Well, maybe me. it's the flesh is like the donkey, like the body of a donkey. No, no. You can read the Greek. It's about the... <laughs> Male organ. And what about the issue is like the issue of horses? Maybe it's Sorry. the issues like the political issues of the horse. No, we, we can look up the study Bible if you like. <laughs> political issues of horses? <laughs> what if he has uh, an issue with gender theory? <laughs> uh, horses have issues with gender theory? So wait, horse issue? Yeah, yeah like sperm. Bumbo clot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... Bumbo clot. Go, 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 go home as Christians. Look up your study Bibles. Look it up. This is this is what you want to teach kids? Okay. Well, uh, I want to close out by um, seeing how you... What, what you often do in your videos and when you give da'wah, you get people to, to take their shahada. Um, I, I would like to, to take my... I don't know if I if I properly did it. I, I don't I think I did it in Arabic. So I would like to... Let's do it. If you would... If I could have the honor, if you would do it. It, it will be my honor. Okay. And guidance is from Allah. Alhamdulillah, Allah guides. But we always want to be the means of that guidance. So, Arabic first or English first? Arabic first, because I've done right. English, but... Ashhadu... Ashhadu... Al... Al... La... La... Ilaha... Ashhadu... Al... Ala... Ilada... Ashhadu... Ashhadu... An... Al... La... La... Ilaha... Ilaha... Illallah... Illallah... Wa ashhadu... Wa ashhadu... Anna... Anna... Muhammada... Muhammada... Abduhu... Abduhu... Wa Rasulu... Wa Rasulu... Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! I know you're already Muslim, I still okay. gotta give you a hug for that one. <laughs> How's my Arabic? Excellent! Okay. Excellent! Yeah. Now, inshallah, as an invite to you, as my brother in Islam, not because you're a YouTuber or any of that, you're welcome to come and learn. I'm here to teach you. If you have questions, I'm here for you. Again, our brother Andrew Tate as well, if you have questions, we're here to support you. Don't worry about haters. We're here to give you that understanding, whatever you want to know from the Quran, from authentic narrations of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with chains all the way back to the Prophet, we're here to help you. Where can we find you, Sheikh Uthman, and One Message Foundation? Uh, You're so not making any money from this. I'm not making any money from this. In fact, I don't even care if we get views or subscribers. It doesn't matter to me. We do want to spread the message of truth. So if somebody goes there, alhamdulillah. If they don't, alhamdulillah. Allah knows my work, and I expect my reward only from Allah. So we have uh, the One Message Foundation channel on YouTube. Uh, there are many channels that are on Instagram and stuff, even though I think, do we have a one message on Instagram? Oh, yeah, we do have an official one, right? Uh, but you can find us on Instagram uh, and so on. Uh, again, we don't care about views and subscribers and we're not making any money off this. We just want to spread the truth. If you're a Christian, if you're atheist, if you're Muslim, you want to know the truth, you can watch the videos, accept it or don't. I'm not forcing anything on anybody. We have also the Masjid Ribat channel, that's our mosque channel where we have lessons for the Muslims and, and anybody else who really wants to get more in depth. Inshallah tonight you're going to be with us at Majd Ribat. So we'll be, we'll be having a lesson. We'll yeah, be for the Muslims in San Diego, uh, where could we... Majd Ribat, it's in San Diego. You can look it up. It's off of 70th on Saranac. Uh, hopefully we won't have any 
yeah, white supremacists try to kill us or something today. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're ready. And if they do, bring it. You know? We're ready. But uh, anyway, inshallah, we'll be at Majdribat tonight. And uh, once again, uh, One Message Foundation, you can check it out. Watch the videos yourself. All the people rapping about Sam, go watch the video when he was there in person. See how he acted. All the people that talk about Hammer Time, go watch his videos that were he was in front of us. Anthony or anybody else that blah, blah, blah. Go watch the videos. You've seen it. You, you'll see the full video beginning to end. Alhamdulillah. We're not here insulting anybody. Uh, I, I love to be a means of guidance for all of you. If you become Muslim, it's not going to help me. It's going to help you. In the end, it's going to be you that benefits from it. As a Muslim, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't, I don't do adultery. I don't do any of that. That's the kind of lifestyle that makes me want to be the best Uthman I can. He doesn't I even listen to music. Like that was, Alhamdulillah, I do not. I was wondering, I asked you all, like, come on, you listen to music, right? Because I, I, I'm not going to lie, I still sometimes listen to music. You know, it's okay. P people it's have, not okay. It should, should, you know. People have mistakes. People have shortcomings. And, and we don't expect perfection. I have things that I make mistakes on. I sin. I do things that are wrong. I ask Allah for forgiveness. And I have hope in the mercy of Allah. I'm not going to expose sins. I'm just going to say that, look, I'm not perfect. And I'm not claiming to be, right? But I know my Lord is so merciful that He can forgive me without killing anybody, without killing Himself or His son or anybody else. If you ask forgiveness, Allah forgives. Our brother Sneeko, you're welcome to San Diego. You're welcome to our house. You're welcome to the community. And, you know, whatever mistakes you made in the past or in the past, you're doing great. And inshallah, you're going to be the best version of yourself. You're going to be a good example for the people. We're here to support you. And if you fall and you make a mistake, it's okay. You go back to Allah. You ask for forgiveness. You keep getting back on it. And Allah is so merciful and so forgiving that He can forgive you without having to kill anybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, and it's been a pleasure, man. We have a lot of great content coming. I'm going to be here for a couple more days. So I, I want to go over here. I'm going to start doing IRL streams. Uh, so chat, stay tuned. Make sure to follow the new Discord, the new Telegram, link in the description to stay updated to this stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Show some love to the brother, man. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.